Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, the strong style nerd, strong style cinephile. And here we go, trying to address the backlog of videos that I have to get to. Starting with Thor, Love and Thunder. So let's geek about that for a scant few minutes. A very, very scant few minutes. And the news that Christian Bale is indeed going to be the villain. Some months ago, there was talk of him in negotiations. Star is the villain. Now we know he is the villain. I'm not too steeped in Thor lore, so I'm not one to speculate on who exactly he's going to be playing. But we know um, some of the points of the, the film is that you know Chris Hemsworth is going to be back as Thor. I'm kind of wondering which version of Thor is going to be back. Because last time we saw him... In the end of Endgame, he was, you know, saddling up with the Asgardians of the Galaxy. Um, so, is there going to be just a throwaway line, how he splits off from them? Is he going to be back to, like, buff Thor? Is he still going to be, like, you know, fat Thor? Is he going to be working through a transition in the movie where he goes from fat Thor to buff Thor? Um, we know that Valkyrie's going to be on the throne. She's going to be looking for a queen. She's going to be the first, like, um, bisexual Marvel Cinematic Universe hero or whatever. It's, I don't know, it's... I'll be glad when we get to a point in time where we don't have to make a big deal out of stuff like that, where it's just it's just normal, because it should be normal at this point, but that's a soapbox for another day. I'm sure a whole bunch of, like, basement-dwelling dude bros who uh, are always talking about, you know, SJWs and the woke agenda and all this and that are mad that, you know, Valkyrie's going to be looking for a queen or whatever, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Natalie Portman is going to be back. I was never a fan of Natalie Portman as Jane Foster in the movies. She's just bland. She's just like a... I don't know whether or not it was just writing or direction. Because I don't think she's too bad of an actress. I don't think. But even in the Star Wars prequels, she was bland as can be. So maybe that's just her. But I was not a fan of her being Jane Foster. She's going to be back in the movie. And as far as we know, she's going to portray, as she did in the comics, the female Thor. Um, so is I'm just... If they have, like, her as just Jane Foster and then bring in, like, another person to be, like, the Thor um, half of the equation, I think I'd be more on board. But having Jane, you know, Natalie Portman portray, like, Thor, even a female version of Thor, they need, there just needs to be more. And I don't think she can bring it physically from an actor's uh, standpoint. Um, I just, I don't. Um, I have confidence in Taika Waititi, who, you know, directed Ragnarok, which was fun. Um, funny, enjoyable um, movie, and some of his other works. So, I, and he's writing this, so I have confidence that he can generate a good story. But just Natalie Portman, that's just the weak link for me in this. And Christian Bale returning to superhero movies. I mean, he was Batman for the longest time in the Christopher Nolan movies. That everybody just hangs from Christopher Nolan's sack and claims that those movies are so good. The first one, Batman Begins, was okay. Um, Dark Knight, I have watched once all the way through and I was I have no interest in watching it again because it's just ugh and Dark Knight Rises I watched like once and will never watch again because it is a horrible horrible movie and what they did with the Bat Voice and that was just god awful that's why I'm kind of wondering what the Bat Voice is going to be for Battinson uh, but that's a video for another day might be two day as we get to the backlog but like I said I just wanted to jump on chat about that for geek about that for a scant few minutes i've got christian bale he's going to be the villain but villain is going to be playing no we'll wait for news on that and more information on the story on the filming and stuff for the fourth thor movie is it going to be good is it going to suck well, who knows but anyway those are some of my thoughts on it what do you guys out there think let me know in the comments below follow me on social media that's right there talk to me there talk to me here so many things going on we do have to get to battinson and the bat suit and the Batmobile, we'll do that next. And then I gotta get to, to Batwoman, and then Flash, and yeah, a couple other things too, so it'll be busy just filming videos, editing videos, getting them out, just to get caught up. So the release is gonna be good from here on out, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let us geek.